it's morning time now. Um, right now, uh, I'm just I just fried up some bacon cubes. I just got some bacon strips, just cut off the cubes, fried them up, toss them in barbecue sauce. Gonna have an avocado with it, and uh, after that, I'm gonna boil up some uh, water and make a tea. So just an update about the hammock. Uh, for the most part, I had had a good sleep. Um, the only issue I was having was that my sleeping pad would uh, move around on me. And also, um, time there was a couple times I woke up where like well, at first like oh I was sleeping on an angle on the hammock, but when I woke up, my feet like way up here and my body was halfway down the hammock. So I, I don't know how I'm getting myself into that position, but I gotta figure something out there. Uh, but for the most part, I was warm, uh, no issues with that. Um, there were times I had some chill spots when I, uh, moved off the hammock. Or sorry, not move off the hammock, move off the sleeping pad. So my shoulders would be just on the hammock material itself. And that's where I got a little bit of a, a chill. But other than that, um, I was warm for the most part. Um, I don't know how to do, I don't know what to do to fix the sleeping pad situation to stop it from moving I don't think you could really do that because both material is very uh, very smooth so, it, so they don't they don't really grip on each other so I know, I'll figure something out uh, but what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna finish eating breakfast clean up and uh, go out do some fishing um, the water is the lake is like glass right now so I want to take advantage of that before the afternoon sun comes because normally what happens is that in the morning or in the evening the, the water is calm and then once the sun gets high in the sky the thermal energy just starts kicking up wind and everything so it will get a little choppy so right now I think this is the perfect perfect time to go fishing because yesterday when I got here the water was choppy and I couldn't really catch anything but when I went into the calm bay area, um, I was catching fish. So, so I'm gonna take advantage of this calm water so I can paddle everywhere and hopefully catch fish everywhere. So anyway, I'm gonna clean up and uh, continue on with my day. been a very uh, very slow morning for fishing today uh, I had one today right off the bat threw the lure in and the second it splashed the fish came up and grabbed it uh, I wasn't that big of a guy I like that wasn't able to get him on film but uh, yeah I went trolling around uh, went to a couple different spots nothing I went back to the spot uh, where I caught the few last night and um, I had a couple hits, but nothing was landed. So now I'm in this other lake. Um, it wasn't that big of a portage, it was like 20 feet, 30 feet if that. So it was easy to get to here. Um, I have seen uh, a couple here uh, today. Um, only saw them for a few minutes and then they disappeared. I've uh, seen a couple float planes flying around, so there's probably uh, maybe a camp on one of these lakes here or something. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a very it was a very beautiful day today. A um, little bit of clouds in the sky, the water is still calm, and the temperature is just right. So I'm just going to keep uh, paddling around here. And uh, hope for the best.
All right, I'm back at camp now. Uh, I'm just having lunch now. I'm having uh, pepperoni, cheddar cheese, and a wrap with barbecue sauce. I got a pot of water going on right now. I'm gonna be having some tea. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I think I'm just gonna relax here for a bit. Uh, I'll probably take a nap. And then maybe around five, six, I'll go back on the water and um, try to do my, try to do some more fishing. All right, so I may have uh, figured out my sleeping issue here. So first of all, what I did was, I've got this pocket here. It was full of stuff last night, so I took everything out. And I also had, uh, I had a loop here uh, earlier today, and I had a piece of rope go into the ground. So it would open up the hammock like that, but uh, I broke that off. So anyway, um, what I did was, I got my sleeping stuff, Put it on a 45 like I did last night. Um, but and then I hopped in, took about a half hour nap. But this time it felt a little different. It felt more, uh, a lot more flatter, and a lot more comfortable. Like last night was fine, but there was a little bit of a curve um, last night. I think it's maybe because I had so much weight on these and tension. Maybe that's was it was throwing it off a little bit. So anyway. When I had my nap, everything felt good and snug. Uh, nothing slid on me, so hopefully um, that solved my issue here. Uh, but who knows though, I mean, I could move around a lot in the middle of the night and uh, everything could shift around. But during that nap, during nap time, it was fine. So anyway, I'm gonna go on, go hop in the canoe, grab some uh, firewood, since there's hardly any around here, and uh, do some camp chores. So yeah. So hopefully that solved the problem. I think this piece might have some uh, fat wood in here down. Ah. Hmm. Should have chopped a little more. There's some red resin in there. There's a nice little piece right, right here. Ah. Against the saw. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice piece there. There we go. Nice, nice waxy piece here, eh? There we go. This that's gonna help me get the uh, get the fire going tonight. Got some birch bark too. All right. Here's a better look. The pieces I just chopped down. Come here, focus, focus. There we go. See? See the nice waxiness in there and some red. Uh, this one here. Get in there. Has some red in there too. And then there's this bad boy here. Not too much, but it's there. There we go. That's gonna get the fire rocking pretty good tonight.
that sunset looks very uh, pretty so um, this evening uh, I was able to catch a few fish had a bunch of hits um, most of the I was uh, switching up between a wacky worm and a topwater frog uh, I was getting a lot of hits on the topwater frog and uh, I was really excited about that but I think these guys that are going after it were pretty um, pretty small the frog I have is probably about two inches right and I think it's just these little tiny babies going after it um, but yeah it's a it's a very calm evening not much going on the winds pretty calm water's calm clear skies so yeah can't can't ask for anything better so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna probably uh, troll back to camp I'm about 15 minutes away and while I still have some light left I can uh, prep up some fire or get my firewood prepped up uh, get red uh, dinner ready and um, and then kind of kind of square things off so I'm not rushing around tomorrow morning trying to get things all put together so yeah I gotta don't really want to head back to camp but gotta have I got to anyway I'll see you guys back at camp and that's the combination of the birch bark and the fat wood I chopped down from that tree. I got another piece right here. Place it there. There we go. Not gonna have any issues with this fire. All right, I'm calling it quits for the night. I'm pretty tired. Um, I got all my stuff uh, packed up and squared away. So I have everything underneath the hammock here. Uh, tonight's supposed to rain. Uh, so what I did was uh, my backpack has a, like a, a rain, like a rain um, shell that goes over top of the bag. So I have that on there. Hopefully it should be fine. Um, I got my waterproof uh, sack, so I have all my important stuff in there, like um, my cell phone, uh, my clothes, um, and then in the backpack I just have like rope, my saw, my axe, um, some other little things in there. So when I wake up tomorrow, I have everything all right here. So all I have to do is um, take down the hammock and tarp, throw it all in my bag, go into the woods, get my food bag, throw it in the bag, and I'm good to go. Uh, so hopefully, but tomorrow morning, they're saying there's supposed to be some strong winds uh, with a 70% chance of thunder showers. So, I don't know, I hope it holds up while I paddle out of here because I don't really want to paddle in a thunderstorm. And if there is a thunderstorm, I'll, well, more than likely I'll just hang out here, just weather it out. But yeah, that's it. I'm calling it quits. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I actually had a pretty good sleep last night. I uh, only woke up a few times due to the storm that rolled through here. There was a lot of rain, some really strong winds and thunder and lightning. Uh, there was a few times throughout the night I actually thought I was going to lose my... Uh, my tarp because that's how strong they were and you can hear like uh, branches and other things falling in the woods last night too so 
that tells you how strong it was. So, um, but yeah, I didn't get wet at all. Um, I kept dry the whole entire night. So I'm really happy about that. So, um, what I'm going to do now, it's still very gray out here. The wind's dying down and there's no rain right now. So I'm just going to pack up camp now and uh, just head on home. I think that, that wraps it up for this trip. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed.